Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the nostalgic realms of cinema. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane to explore the iconic cast of the 1987 epic, The Running Man. Join us as we discover where these stars are now in our exclusive, The Running Man 1987 cast then and now. First up, we have the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger as Ben Richards, the fearless protagonist. Back in 1987, Schwarzenegger brought Richards to life at the age of 40, showcasing his iconic action prowess. Fast forward to now, at the age of 76, Schwarzenegger continues to captivate audiences with his charm and wit, though he's shifted his focus towards philanthropy and politics. Then, we have the late Yafet Koto as Laughlin, a character whose presence left a lasting impact. In 1987, Koto brought Laughlin to life at the age of 48, showcasing his remarkable talent and charisma. Sadly, Koto passed away in 2021 at the age of 81, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to inspire audiences worldwide. Next on our list is the formidable Jim Brown as Fireball. Back in 1987, Brown portrayed the relentless fireball at the age of 51, leaving a lasting impression with his commanding presence. Sadly, Brown passed away in 2023 at the age of 87, but his legacy as a trailblazer in both sports and cinema lives on. Next, we have the electrifying Jesse Ventura as Captain Freedom. Ventura, at 37 years old in 1987, brought an undeniable energy to the screen with his portrayal of the enigmatic character. Today, at the age of 72, Ventura continues to make waves in various fields, from politics to entertainment, solidifying his status as a multifaceted icon. Next, we remember Erland Van Lith, who portrayed the eccentric Dynamo. Tragically, Van Lith passed away in 1987 at the age of 34, shortly after the film's release. Though his time in the spotlight was brief, his portrayal of Dynamo left an indelible mark on audiences, showcasing his undeniable talent and potential. Next, we have Marvin J. McIntyre, who portrayed the tech-savvy Weiss. In 1987, McIntyre brought Weiss to life at the age of 31, adding depth to the ensemble cast. Today, at 66 years old, McIntyre continues to flourish, albeit more behind the scenes, exploring various aspects of the industry and leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Next up, we have Gus Rethwish, the formidable buzzsaw. Rethwish's portrayal of the menacing buzzsaw in 1987, at the age of 55, sent chills down viewers' spines. Fast forward to today, at the ripe age of 90, Rethwish enjoys a well-deserved retirement, reflecting on a career filled with memorable performances that solidified his status as a Hollywood stalwart. Next, we remember Professor Toru Tanaka, who immortalized the character of Sub-Zero with his captivating presence. At 57 years old in 1987, Tanaka showcased his prowess as a performer, leaving an indelible mark on audiences. Sadly, Tanaka bid farewell to this world in 2000 at the age of 70, but his legacy as a versatile actor and wrestler lives on. Next on our roster is Mick Fleetwood, who portrayed the enigmatic Mick. In 1987, Fleetwood breathed life into Mick at the age of 41, adding a unique flair to the film's narrative. Today at the age of 76, Fleetwood continues to captivate audiences, not just with his music, but also with occasional appearances that remind us of his iconic role in this cult classic. Next, we have Ken Lerner, who portrayed the sharp-witted Agent. Lerner's portrayal of Agent in 1987 at the age of 39 brought depth to the character dynamics. Fast forward to today, at the age of 75, Lerner remains active in the industry, seamlessly transitioning between film and television roles, showcasing his versatility and talent. Next, we remember Richard Dawson, the charismatic Damon Killian. Dawson's portrayal of Killian in 1987, at the age of 55, 
left an unforgettable mark on audiences, solidifying his status as a formidable villain. Sadly, Dawson departed this world in 2012 at the age of 79, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to resonate with fans worldwide. Next, we have Karen Lee Hopkins, who portrayed the resilient Brenda. In 1987, Hopkins embodied Brenda's strength at the age of 31, adding depth to the film's ensemble. Today, at 66, Hopkins continues to thrive, though she's transitioned more into behind-the-scenes roles, leaving an indelible mark on the industry with her creative contributions. Next up, we have Sven Ola Thorsen, known simply as Sven. Thorsen's portrayal in 1987, at the age of 43, added muscle to the film's action sequences. Now, at 79, Thorsen enjoys a quieter life away from the spotlight, though his impact on the action genre is still felt with his body of work serving as a testament to his dedication and talent. Next, we have Maria Conchita Alonso portraying the resilient Amber Mendez. At 30 years old in 1987, Alonso mesmerized audiences with her portrayal of Mendez, adding depth to the film's narrative. Flash forward to today, at the age of 66, Alonso remains an active figure in the entertainment industry, balancing her career with humanitarian efforts, showcasing her versatility both on and off screen. Lastly, we have Kurt Fuller as Tony, a character who added layers of complexity to the storyline. Fuller, at 34 years old in 1987, showcased his versatility as an actor. Today, at 70, Fuller continues to grace both the big and small screens with his presence, proving that age is just a number when it comes to talent and passion. And there you have it, folks. More insights into the lives of some members of the talented cast of The Running Man then and now. It's fascinating to see how they've all continued their journeys over the years. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep watching and enjoying the magic of cinema.